Hello goes it YouTube is Minecraft to go here today I'll be teaching you how to use world guard on your Minecraft craft bucket server and world guard requires world edits which requires a craft bucket server if you do not know what either of those are or you don't uh, have one of those check out one of the links corresponding to what you need in the in the description of this video okay so world guard allows you to protect regions um, and add some cool sorry oh well hiccups it allows you to uh, do some cool stuff to regions too uh, like notifying on enter notifying on leave uh, in the in the um, console so you can see if someone's entering a region that they're not supposed to or you can have greetings farewell messages um, just even healing uh, uh, you can make it where you can allow building in one area but not this area cool st there's a lot of cool stuff so the first thing we need to do is give ourselves a wand. Yay. Okay, so now what we need to do is select our house because this obviously took a lo long time to build, so we want to protect it because it's being griefed because the spawn point's over there. And now we're just going to right click here. And now we're going to excite us expand one, one up, which means that <clears throat> um, it's going to uh, expand one up and one down. And now we actually need to define this region as. Um, so we're going to do slash region defined and whatever you want to call it and then the owner of the region which is just pretty much enter your username or whoever you're setting it for and now only they will be allowed to build in this area uh, anyone will be able to build uh, here and whatnot but only the owner and ops and people with the uh, world guard permission to uh, build in regions that don't belong to them will be able to build in there so that can narrow griefing down quite a bit uh, and or to stop it all completely but now um, let's say that we want uh, them to build here okay they, w they want to place we want them to take these flowers right here they can take whatever they want as long as they plant a seed right here but we're going by trust we can't force them to plant the seed but that'd be pretty awesome okay so what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, select I, I whoa let's forget all that because I skipped over stuff <laughs> so if we do slash region list we can see all the regions here we got uh, house and inner and whole and it's got few pages and do region list page two but there is no page two all right sorry region list two yeah so if we do slash region info house we can see that uh, the priority is zero, there's no flags, there's no parents of this, uh, there's no uh, there's only one owner, no members, and then the balance of the, the coordinates of the house. So we can do slash region, uh, add owner, the name of the region, and then wh whoever you want to add. Say So now if we do slash region info house, we can see that Notch and I are able to build in this region, but nobody else can. But now we can do slash region remove owner. Because he started grieving, because it's his game, he can do whatever he wants, right? Slash region, remove owner, the name of the region, then the person you want to read, uh, remove, then we do slash region lit, uh, info house, and we can see that I'm the only owner again, which means Notch can no, no longer build no matter how much he coded in Minecraft. Mwahaha. <laughs> Evil laugh. Okay, now back to what I was talking about before, about the flowers. We want them to take a flower, but we do not want them uh, to build here or and yeah okay so we're gonna select this region like this say expand five up expand 1d which is up and down and uh, we can do slash region define we're gonna call this house oh like that and then you pick your name of who you want the owner to be yay but they will still not be able to build because I'm the owner, right? Well, we don't want to add them to a member or an owner uh, in the region every time they just want to pick a flower, right? No, so what we can do is we can set the building to true. So what we can do, we can do slash region flag. And if we do the name of the thing, house O, which stands for house outer, if I didn't say that already. And we're going to do build allow. And now anybody will be able to build in this area and they'll also be able to destroy as well. But that also means they'll, they'll be able to destroy this house probably more than likely. Yes, I want to say uh, I haven't used this function in a while, so I'm not quite sure on, on how it's changed. But we don't want to take any chances, so we're going to do slash region 
flag house or uh, sorry slash, slash region priority we'll do house and then we're gonna set the priority to one so we do a slash region uh, info house slash region info house oh we can see that this priority is one and this priority is zero this has no flags and this has build and has this flag this ha this does have a flag and is for allowing anyone to build so now we can place flowers as we pl or destroy flowers as we plead and plant seeds and till the grass as we please as well but let's say well they don't we don't have we don't want to put a sign out here because they could someone could simply destroy it right i mean they could still grieve but let's say we, we want them to as soon as they walk in right here it says you can take a flower if you want but you must plant a seed so to do that we're going to do slash region flag name of the region how so and it's going to type a bunch of gibber, uh, gibberish here and you see there's a whole bunch of flags these are all the flags you can use and we are going to do um note uh greeting so we're going to do slash slash region flag how so and greeting and we're going to put welcome to my loving home plant a flower or take a flower but you, you can take a flower but you must plant a a seed or, but you must plant seed but welcome to my loving home you can take a flower but you must seed okay you must seed that's close enough so if we go in here and say welcome to my loving home you can take a flower but you but you must seed uh you know that's torrenting stuff but uh time day again yay so uh, that's how and let's say on but now let's say we want to make sure they did it or warn them again so we're gonna do slash uh region flag house oh farewell or uh, farewell not farewell farewell and then we put the message here and say did you plant a seed and we are lots of question marks because we're a noob and we don't like when people steal from us right as soon as we uh, leave it will say did you plant a seed like stuff like that in spam your chat if you go in and out like this do 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 yay so if we do slash region flag house so and pit gibberish 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 or slash region flag house so gibberish 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 uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. We can stop leaf decay, grass growth, ice melt, ice form, snow melt, snowfall. Um, what else? What else? Um, damage, uh, PvP, pass through. Uh, you can make, you you can even make a Bible or allow commands or um, you can stop a whole bunch of stuff. Enderman griefing, lighter use. Well, let's say we want to make this. We want to make my home PvP because I'm a hardcore house liver. I uh, didn't have to select that. Cause I live my house day by day, living it to the extreme. So we can do. There's a chicken in my flower. Yeah, that's right. Get out of my region. Ah, ah, get out of here. All right. Oh well, now we destroy the grass. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's awesome. Enjoy your fall, little chicken. So now, uh, enough of that ADD moment. Even though I don't even have ADD, that's funny. <laughs> I just get this way when I'm tired. So what we need to do is slash, I forgot what I'm doing, uh, PvP, because I'm a hardcore house lever, right? H region, flag, house, and then we're going to put a PvP, allow. It's awesome. S and we, um, let's see. So this has a lot of PvP in here. If, so if there was another player, we could attack each other, but if PvP was disabled in the world, we would, I th if it was completely disabled in the world, I don't think we'd be able to attack each other at all, but if it was every other region had PvP disabled and this region was allow, we would be able we would be we would be able to attack each other, and because this region's no P, no PvP, and now we we want to warn them, so we're gonna do region flag house greeting PvP enabled, and we also do slash region flag house farewell. And we're gonna do PvP disabled. Oh, apparently there's this. Did you plant seed? Apparently I left the region a bit. PvP. Alright, see, as you can see, 
we're entering and leaving regions, so it's gonna it's gonna do that a lot. So it's a lot of stuff. But if you have a bigger region, uh, all that chat will be less spammy. That's pretty much uh, all you need to know for World Guard. But if we do slash region, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, all these stuff that you can do. Like, uh, so you can select a region, you can lit, we already did list, um, re you can redefine too, let's say we want this region to be house O, we can do slash region, redefine house O, and now if I go in here, alright, that's not right, is it, where's my house O, whoa, what's going on, okay, slash region, redefine house outer, Okay, so apparently the greetings do not carry over, but we can do slash region uh, flag uh, house O greeting. You can put jibber jibber jibber. And if I go in here, but okay, so there's apparently a glitch with world edits or world guard. It just the greetings are messed up as soon as you switch regions, but this still works. Hopefully, it does. That's all that matters. PvP enabled and then disabled. So that's pretty much just going to cover it for your World Guard tutorial. If you like to consider a sub, a like, because anything will help. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun. Good luck. Bye bye. Just leave you with this.